This is a tutorial to help with the uh, app that is on the iPad so that you can adjust your own monitor and ear settings. So hopefully the unit is in standby mode when you've arrived and then you just tap the power button over here on the left. If it's all the way off, you'll have to press and hold for a few seconds. Uh, there's no need to turn them all the way off. You can just put them in standby mode. And standby mode, it either goes into it by itself if you haven't logged in, or if I hit it like that, that turns it on or wakes it up in a sense, and then I can put it back in standby mode by tapping it. So that's what you would do after you're all done with it. So we'll tap it again, wake it up. Now you hit the home button once, and then you get to the screen to put in the um, passcode. So I'm gonna put that in. Okay, and if the program, which is called MXQ down here at the bottom, if that program is up on the screen and it's trying to actually connect and it's not connecting, then it's best to get rid of that program, but we'll show you that in a second. So I'm gonna hit MXQ, bring that program up, and it says connected. If for some reason uh, there's an issue and it's not connecting, then what you have to do is close that app and then restart it again. So I'm gonna hit the home button twice really fast, and then I'm gonna take my finger and slide up, and that gets rid of the, um, of the app and closes it. Now I'll go back down here again, launch the program, says it's scanning for device, connected. So it's actually connecting back to the, um, to the main mixer board back there at the sound booth. And then at that point, you're gonna up here on the uh, top right, it says mixer. You're gonna tap mixer. And then you're gonna go over here to filter one. And what filter one does is it, it removes all the channels that you don't need to worry about. Because there's 32 channels on the board and I've dumbed it down a little bit so that uh, you can just have the main things in here. So then, of course, we have drums, uh, bass, uh, guitar, electric guitar, synth. There's two channels for synth because they're in stereo. Piano bleeds over, so we swipe to the left. There's piano right. Then vocals one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, there's a spare channel, piano vox, synth vox, um, uh, the pastor's mic, and then there's headset two, uh, in case there's like a, just whoever else is using a second headset. And then there's the, um, uh, the PC, which is the computer volume, so you can hear anything that's going on there. So you just swipe left to right for that. Now, uh, we have, uh, let's say there were five vocalists up here, but we only have four iPads. So this one is set, and I can always check to see. I can look on here. This is monitor one. So if I look up here, it says up here on the top left, says vocal monitor one, and I tapped it, and then that's where it's actually set. If I wanted to go back and adjust, let's say, um, so here's, here's number two. Currently, it's assigned to number two. But over here on vocal three, this is the one that doesn't have an iPad right at the moment. So what I could do is if that person is wearing their in-ears and they don't have a way to adjust anything, I could actually go over here and I could tap this. It says vocal monitor three. And now anything that I adjust on the iPad will adjust it for that person standing over there at vocal monitor three. So now when I'm all done, I just have to remember to come back, tap the top left-hand corner, and then go back to vocal monitor one, and now I'm looking at my own again, okay? And of course, like I said, when I'm all done, all I do is just you know tap over here on the left and just put it in standby mode. Now what's interesting is sometimes when you turn this back on, so I have to, every time you put it in standby mode, you have to log in again. So I tap that, type in the passcode, okay? And you can see the program is down at the, it kind of closed itself, so I'm gonna reopen it. Okay, so now it's open again. Uh, these four black bars, you don't have to worry about anything with them. Whenever you're trying to change which monitor you're, you're trying to adjust, that's up here. But most of you are just going to mixer, and then you'll choose filter one for that. Um, when you're on here, let's go ahead and do filter one. When you go to slide uh, these faders up and down, um, just 
kind of note that uh, sometimes the responsiveness isn't that great. It's like I'm going to tap that and try to go up. Let me see. And see, and sometimes that happens. You've got to slide your finger up. So fast movements don't work too great. Um, you can kind of push into it a little bit. You know, if you go too soft, sometimes it won't make connection. All right, there's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that in standby mode. So hopefully that helps anybody that is trying to learn how to use these things. All right, I'll check you, at the, check you out on the next uh, tutorial.